Welcome back to NG! It's time for a new day and a new game. And a new drink from the convenience store. Mmm. Oh, I, I love Rockstar Zero Carb. Eh? What? Hello, Idle John! What? Aw, oh, man! Hello, new person. But she seemed God, you're, familiar. You're tall and built and oh shit. Is she a female version of you? If you want to see it that way, sure. No, I mean, just add the glasses and the goatee and there you go. Maybe if you cross to me and Violet. I could see that, yeah. And then we decided to you're drink a whole bunch of muscle milk. <laughs> yeah. And then you but got this is... rocked. This is Reina Oe. Okay. I'd, I I think uh, she is either working on or closely working with the people who are working on Ami's case. And while she's looking around, she's like, oh, okay, so uh, the person who was last seen with him is a known delinquent who hangs out with the Yakuza son and skips out all night and goes into underground fights. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and ask this guy some questions. I love how her default portrait is basically just angry, like you are. Just like mine. See, we're we're friends already. <laughs> also, the uh, the initial sprite when she came on screen had the most judgmental look on it. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> uh, you know, I will take your card. Oh, miss, please. It takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Yeah, you hang out with the idol girl. I'm gonna hang out with Oe-san over here. That's fine, she's probably double your age. She's not 62. <laughs> if anything, I'm double the idol's age. Yeah, I could see that. Wait, I just realized, we're dealing with a bunch of, like, 18-year-olds and college kids, right? Besides our kid sister. Yeah, we got a, we got a few grown-ups. A few grown-ups? Okay. A adults. People who are in their 20s and 30s. Oh, no. <sighs> Hear that goddamn flute? You know what that means. Oh man, did I just get jabated? Or someone got an MP3 player and just an asshole. <laughs> oh, nope. Oh, uh, nope, that's her. Right. Hey, Cox! How's it going? <laughs> How's it going, girl? <laughs> God, she would hate that nickname. <laughs> What's up, Cox? You're dripping in sweat, huh? She, she feeds on despair and fear. If I'm just being super cash with her, I don't think that she'll... <laughs> I don't think she'll like that. I, I would just love it if you just started picking on her like a high, like a high school bully or something like that. Oh, she's got the next game lined up. The Kubitaro of Kentucky game. Yeah, say that five times fast. Kubitaro of Kentucky. 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 Yes, yes, we'll disappear now and I'll never come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long is this fucking game? Well, about 20 hours, me bucko. Until Kakuya wins. I don't like that. The game doesn't end until she says it's over. So this is just round two of an endless match. Great. Well, we could either complain or we can go ahead and get started on this uh, Kubitaro of Kentucky ship. A new horror awaits us. Let's see if we can't deal with this guy all on our own. Don't need to get anybody involved in this because it's dangerous for them. Don't want to, you know, have any curse bleed onto them or whatever, so... Speaking of uh, being dangerous for other people, 
Do you know how much the text differs from chapter to chapter if your person dies in the a, previous a chapter? A lot changes, actually. Oh, seriously. Depending on what ending you end up with, uh, there could be a lot of a lot of unique text, especially for what happens at the end of this chapter. Ooh. It all depends on who you sacrifice for your normal ending. It all depends who, uh, you know, which route you go for the good ending. It depends on if you're on the bad ending right now. It depends on how many you've. You know, it's just 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 a whole lot, whole lot that you to take into here. But you don't unlock anything like, you know, unique bosses or anything like that. Don't don't be crazy. Oh, okay. So it's mainly just for the CGs, right? Mainly just flavor text and maybe a few CGs. Oh, okay. So I was looking over my Vita version where I completed everything and I've got some CGs missing. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. I think it's because I uh, didn't do the, the, the other routes or whatever. Hmm. But we can't find anything on Kubitaro of Kentucky. Well, I mean, the only thing we've done is gone home and then woke up. Well, I mean, we can't really do much with 1999 internet, after all. There's well, There's so okay. much we can do. Jeeves.com doesn't tell me anything! <laughs> Quick, Hazuki, I need to go <laughs> give me your iPad. I need to look up something. Wait, no! I need to go to Alta Vista! <laughs> Damn it, Netscape has crashed again! Who the hell's knocking down my 5G cell towers? Maybe we're so reading a bit, a bit too into this. I, I, I would like to think that NWA is very technically inept, so even though we do have anachronistic technology, he still just can't use it. That's the thing. He is, t he is very technologically inept. Yes! The only thing he really knows how to do is run his motorcycle, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that. So, how did he look on the internet? Did he just, you know, hit the start button, hit run, and go, Kubitaro, find rumors. And then it doesn't show up anything. It's like, there's nothing here! See, I would love so it if he, you know, went onto the internet, he looked put up the run tab and then immediately booked it to the bar. No, no, dude. You're supposed to open up Internet Explorer. I did! I, I looked up an Explorer! No, no, no. Internet Explorer. I don't want to enter the net. That sounds dangerous. You just... You, uh, oh, Fish go into N nets, N dude. N Come on. Just, just, just let me do it, okay? So our uh, mistress... Or, or, our occult mistress... Doesn't know anything about Kubitaro either. Well, damn it. So, we got nothing on nobody, know how, no way. <laughs> and doubled eventually. It's just like, downs a few espresso and just says out loud, Does anybody know about obscure horrors? I'm about to be cursed! The only lead we have is uh, something in Kintoki, which the only thing Jesus. that is is some what suburb north of the station. Maybe Motohashi knows something! What do you know, you, you dumb-looking thing guy, you? <laughs> oh, I've got something better than the internet! An info guy! Like, you just have NPC plastered all over your face. Like, if you if you were a real person in the real world, you would still be an NPC. <laughs> we find him trying to clip through a wall. Oh. Apparently he might know something. Maybe. A little something. Dog killers. Oh no! Not oh, the dogs! no. So in Kentucky, a lot of, a lot of dogs are getting killed, huh? Eh? Hmm. It's a hardcore fan of Paw Patrol. Or maybe a hardcore dissident of Paw Patrol. He actually takes all of these dogs and throws them into fires. Go, Paw Patrol! Solve the case! Hear that, or he just kills the dogs and be like, God damn it, Bubble Guppies is where it's at! <laughs> Taking all these little kid shows and thinking, yeah, these animals can do all these things that are shown in the cartoons.
<laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up and tell us about the, the scary monster we're gonna be facing today. Show me the monster. I mean, how do, I don't know how we uh, get up from drowned pregnant lady, but let's see. Oh. <laughs> hey, you heard about what's happening in Kentucky? Well, let me tell you. Yeah, the dog killings. I heard this from other people, but... An empty street? No! One day, late at night, well, one night late at night, the neighborhood associates chairman took his dog for a walk. He usually does them before sunset, but he was so busy that day that they went out at night. He passes a transmission tower on his walk that people call Kentucky Tower. In front of it sits an old mini shrine. Oh, imagine that. The old-fashioned chairman was so deeply religious, so he made a manju offering to the, to the shrine. But then... His dog suddenly started growling. This had never happened on any of the previous walks. The chairman thought it strange, especially since everything around him looked normal. But then, the dog escalated to barking. Anxious, he urgently tried to shush it. It was late and the sound would disturb the neighbors. But the dog was barking like it lost its mind. The chairman was becoming concerned when suddenly a low voice came from behind. Oh no. Ooh! <laughs> oh! I, th I think that might be Kubitaro. Wow! Is he stealing dog heads? Suddenly, the barking stopped. Jolted back to his senses, the chairman spun toward his dog. Only to see the animal collapse in a pool of bright red blood. Yeah. And they say the dog... ...was missing its head! Oh, he is stealing dog heads! That's oh, fucked up! Oh, no! God damn. We got a decapitating guy going around here. That's not fun. Well, that means we're okay. We can't possibly be cursed. Because we're not a dog, and we certainly ain't no bitch. Yeah, we don't have a dog, so we're good. I'm a nome, on the other hand. Well, I mean, we have cats. We, we have cats, though, so that's a problem. Well, that's... Well, don't decapitate my cat, please. But I've been a, a huge fat dude from years and years ago. Why? Why the heads of animals? Because human heads are too hard to get. I, I'm just wondering, what was the the start of a lot of these myths, legends, and ghost stories? Oh. It I'm sure most of these are uh, from the imaginations of the writers. But I'm sure a lot of them uh, stem in folklore and myth and legend. See, that'd be kind of cool if by the end of the game we actually take out one that's deep-seated in Japanese I mean, folklore. I, I, I mean, come on! They have a ghost who has an eyeball in its butt. <laughs> they think it's some fucked up shit. I think there's, like, another ghost who, like, uh... Haunts you if you look in the cracks of your bath at night or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Some really weird stuff, man. It's like spirits for everything. It's like you stepped on a crack. I'm the spirit that breaks your mama's back. Yeah, probably. I mean. I mean, come on. They wrote the first alien novel where, uh, oh yeah, it turns out that she was an alien all along. And <gasps> now Kagi has to go back home. God, that'd be a weird twist if all these ghosts were secretly aliens. So, to test this rumor, we're gonna go to the shrine, 
We're gonna offer a manju because that, from the rumor, seemed to be what triggered Kubitara's appearance. Now, for those of us who are not too familiar with um, Japanese culture, I guess, what exactly is a manju? What would you compare it to? Oh, man, I, I think it's like a candy of some s- Wait, yeah, I know what it is. It's like a, a sweet bean confectionery. Oh, okay. So it's- so looking at the Wikipedia thing, it's, uh, outside made of flour, rice powder, kudzu, and buckwheat, and it's filled with anko, which is boiled azuki beans and sugar. Hmm. So it's just sweet beans in a rice surrounding. It's, uh, I've had some really good ones, though. Oh, okay. So, confectionery. Yeah. A, 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 a bean confectionery. They use beans in a lot of sweets, don't they? So, yeah, they taste good. They work. Okay. As long as they work. A thug face. I like that. <laughs> Look at that guy down there. He's got such a thug face. I think they call those people, uh, Marks. It just reminds me of a random text I got from one of the people I do orders from, from work. He accidentally sent me a drunk text saying, Have you tried this beer? It's pretty Spank Daddy! And that's when uh, Spank Daddy got ad added to my word repertoire. Spank Daddy. Mm-hmm. With a hyphen. That's how you know it's official. Oh. I think I'll remove that from my vocabulary because that just it's too many <laughs> possibilities of what spank could mean and what daddy could mean I don't <laughs> like the implications now th that idea right there that's pretty spank daddy is there a beer called spank daddy I fucking doubt it if there is that's a horrible marketing decision so Marahashi you keep figuring out what you can about Kubitaro because you seem to know more about him than we do. We're gonna go test the rumor and head to Kentucky, and uh, hopefully we'll be alive by the end of the night. All right, boss. I'm gonna go do my second job. You know, the dog walking job. T ooh, ooh. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, not right now. N you know, not tonight. Why don't you take the week off? Oh, catch you later, Marahashi. We're gonna go to the next place. And we got our new spirit file. Okay, Kaku's game. Spirit, Kaku by Reina. Dog killed in Kotoki. Do you have a head? Turn around, dog's head's gone. Info not reliable. He also likes Manju. I mean, hey, it's pretty good, so. So, fat man likes sweet. Fat man take dog head. Basically. I don't like that. Just the idea is creepy to me. That there's what, a Fatman liking sweets or no. Fatman taking dog hat? Well, just the, the the imagery of a giant fat man who's like, mmm, sweets, but I'm gonna take your dog's head too with this gigantic fuck off axe I have in my hand. So, so like, I go up to John Goodman and be like, hey man, you want some Skittles? <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, sure! And then he just chops off my dog's head. <laughs> but he's not fat anymore, is he? <laughs> Could have sworn oh, he lost a lot of weight. Well, he might be, but. How about Ralphie? M uh, no. Chris Far. <laughs> uh, no, no. Oh, um, God! <laughs> Gabriel Glacier. Oh, he, he lost a lot of weight, too, but. Oh, uh, well, that's. A... Also, how dare you bring John Goodman into this? <laughs> yeah, I, I love John Goodman. That's, that's bad against him. My bad, John Goodman. 10 Cloverfield Lane, best movie until you get to the ending, which sucked. I still don't get it, but I still liked it. Yeah, I'd like a good three quarters of the movie. So who am I taking with me this time? Well, we had Hazuki last time, so this time it's Amanome. What's up, Brohaim? Reason being is because there's cops all around uh, Kentucky right now, and it's just straight shot. Oh, okay. Also, I like that little detail where your other partners just kind of chill in the background. They don't actually that, just disappear. Yeah, that, that's how you switch. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then you're hit by a train. So yeah, we're taking Amanome with us because there's cops all around Kentucky because of the dog killings. 
And Amanome knows how to handle himself around cops better than Hazuki does. Obviously. <laughs> Her best defense mechanism is just quickly switching over to the wig. Not only that, but, you know, her being dressed the way she is and being fucking Momokuruse, that'll get a lot of attention, I'm sure. Attention we don't need. The ghost comes out and says, I'm a huge fan! Yeah, a little bit, I mean. How convenient! You know, now I'm curious about something. We're probably going to see, like, a couple more CGs, right? It's probably some grisly murders or something close uh, here. Yeah. I am very curious because, as far as I know, from my own knowledge and based on other games that I've played, isn't decapitation a big no-no? What do you mean? As in you can't show it? At least in Japan and America, we basically thrive off decapitations. I think it's also the act of decapitating as well. If it's just like, you know, Ah, he's been decapitated! That's completely different. So, uh, hey, Mr. Cop Man. Um, I, I see on your hat, uh, you are the Night Watch. He's not a you? watch, he's a man. Or you're Islamic, I don't see the star in there, but, you know, hey, hey, hey so, <laughs> hey, hey, <clears throat> well. And Double quickly found out what memes were today, so his immediate answer is, yes, this is dog. This is 1999, dude. We gotta think of 1999 memes. <laughs> All right, now we gotta find a way to get out of here. Okay, uh, you tell me uh, a 1999 meme. Sh show some ID. Uh, hey, what's that? <laughs> the classic misdirect. Huh? What? The most convenient thing is that the ghost actually does show up behind him. Oops. No, 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 further back. No, 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 further, further back. Like, all the way over there. What is that? Yeah, that's why I wear these prescription sunglasses. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe people in Japan can actually say that, especially in the in the timeline of this game. Uh, it's, it's a weird dog, yeah. That's what it was. It's got three heads and tentacles for paws. It was a weird dog, and then Snoopy comes walking around the corner. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no! It, it didn't have a head! It didn't have an owner! I mean a head! <laughs> it doesn't have a collar! Ah! <laughs> you wanna bet? So we've almost got him. He's on the edge. We just gotta do one more thing to just freak him the fuck out. <laughs> and double quick! Pull out the dog head you have in your back pocket! Okay. I have a dog head in my back pocket. I got a gerbil head in my front pocket, though. <laughs> Just use a pinch of my thumb and first finger. So you, yeah. pour, a be you pour a beer and there's no foam at the top. Oh, no! This beer is without a head! <laughs> Some might call that flat. So how do we uh, scare him more? Just, <laughs> Just stare. I love it. Uh, just just <laughs> wide-eyed. <gasps> <gasps> See again. 99, before the major look was made up. Uh, dude, you might, uh, you might want to get out of here. 
maybe slowly start backing up as you look in horror just past him. Just, uh, uh, uh. We managed to scare a grown man. Remember, kids, you get pulled over by a cop. They ask for license and registration. What's that over there? Is that a dog? A headless dog over there? What is that? Especially when you're in your car, they ask for license and registration. I'm sure that'll go over well. Arf, arf. What are you doing here? Oh, I got a lot of munch. You, uh... I did have two bags, but, you know, it was a very long trip. How did we not notice this fat guy was following us? I mean, we even heard his own theme music as he was, you know, ducking behind dumpsters. Yeah, speaking of, how far is Kentucky Tower? Actually, you see that big tower in the distance? Hmm. That's it. So it's just a giant electrical tower. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Aw, that is a cute little shrine. Look at it. This must be the old mini shrine. So we can do three things here. We can make an offering, pray, and examine the sign. Let's check out the sign first, see what we're dealing with. Don't leave Manju. Can leave carrots instead. So a big tree used to be here. Ah. Taro Kintoki used to be here. So are we dealing with the ghost of a tree? Oh no, nothing like that. Okay. The tree wants to get revenge for being cut down. He and his brother have come back as a giant man with an axe. <laughs> Probably depends on uh, culture to culture, but in most cultures, don't fuck with sacred trees. Have you ever seen Midsummer? No. Basically, these guys go to a, a sort of... Uh, Finish, you know, cult camp or whatever. Just you know, have a vacation. They're you know, they're they're, they're nice folks. They have their customs mm -hmm. and all that. But everything starts going wrong when one jackass decides to urinate on their thousand-year-old sacred tree. Oh dear. That's when everything goes downhill and people start dying. Don't fucking piss on thousand-year-old sacred trees. So don't go near the well, either. The well might be bad news. I mean, it looks like it's bad news because it's all chained up. Are those charms? Yeah. Oh, no. It's probably related to the, to the shrine, but... <laughs> if you don't leave Manju, something pops out of the well. Actually, it's the opposite. If you leave Manju, we might find Kubitaro here. Well, bring him on. I'm ready to go. I've got all I need. I've got one guy le here to leave his bait, and <laughs> me and Abanome can uh, peace out. What kind of manju is this? Watermelon! Yeah. There's weird things scattered around it. What? 
is it? I hope it's not Chris's blood. Yeah, it's an old manju. How old are we talking, though? Long enough for it to spoil. And, uh, yeah. 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 Just stick with weird things, all right? Did you find this in the garbage on your way here? It's even disgusting, you know, twenty-year-old manjus. Blech. Okay, anyway, just put the manju on the thing, and there. <laughs> ah! All right, we gotta, we gotta pray. Final thing we gotta do. Maybe it's a dog, too, I mean... So far, the weirdest thing that's happened to us today is a cop stopped us and got freaked out by a tall tail. Eh. Show me the monster. Ah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> Show me the monster. Uh, that's that's nothing. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Come on. Anyway, let's 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 pray. Make clap, a prayer. Clap your hands and pray. Oh dear, lovely Kentucky Shrine, please make it so that we don't get killed by this big fat axe wheeling head stealing ghost. Um, and uh, may may Graham Graham uh feel better from her cold. And may Dad come back from the store someday. Uh, thank you, Amen. That should be good enough, right? I think so. Yeah, I think we're done. So, uh, yeah, nothing happened. Hmm. Kind of disappointing. Oh, good. I was hoping you could check this. Well, all right. Let's go home. Oh? Hi, yes. Yes, please. Show it to me. That was that security guard from earlier, that that, that Night Watch cap guy. Oh, God, he's going to get decapitated. Oh, no. No, he's fine. For now. Show but, it to uh, me. What's that in, in the right side of the of the screen there? What's ooh? Uh, oh, oh my! Oh no! Whoa! What the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> oh Jesus! Whoa! Whoa! Uh huh. Holy shit! Kubitaro's not fucking around. Oh my god! The large man with an axe. That was Kubitaro. Oh, and he took the head with him too! They went to Kentucky Tower. Oh my god, L look how the blood's in like a V shape. Oh, that's some splatter. I wonder how he could have done that then. He probably just. You know, took the dog and just hiya! Cut it like a thing of wood. God damn! All right, let's keep going. Okay. Back to Kentucky Tower. Okay, this is this one is uh, immediately more dangerous than uh, than the other one was. The Hiroshima woman wasn't uh, that dangerous. She didn't really have a uh, deadly axe to immediately kill us with. She just kind of grabbed our shoulder and threw turtles at us. <laughs> oh, and, oh and, and, and drowned us. I guess that's one thing, too. But. Turtle! 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 Well, I don't see him here, so I think we're gonna be alright. Okay, time to go! Okay, we're, we're done! Alright, bye! For today. We, can, we can go now! Sorry about the popper, gotta go! Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done, bye!
Oh, that would be such a power play if his, like, image showed up in the background. That'd be so good. I smell blood, though. Oh, time to read the blood off, of, uh, off the axe. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, what's that? Hmm. Wait a minute. Something behind the well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's blood! Ah, it's blood on the back of this well! Ah, uh, huh, huh. uh, yes. What did you see? <laughs> Head to the Great Tower of Kintoki on the 15th night. Off to the great Taro Kintoki to make Dad feel bad. God, this is so fucked up. A happy song, but sung sadly. Head to the great Taro Kintoki on the 15th night. <sighs> and that's the story of Solomon Grundy. Well, um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I don't like this round, Kakuya. Can we uh skip this round and do another game? No, no. Uh, all right. I, I don't like this dude. Can, can we move on to the next uh evil, please? children's song, though, so... That made me think that the uh, it's actually a child we're dealing with? Or a child-minded person, perhaps? No, oh, maybe. Trying to appease some old gods or something like that? I mean, if I were an axe murderer, I wouldn't be saying, like, you know, Mary had a little lamb, <laughs> little... Actually, that would even be more scary, so maybe I would. Yeah, it would be... Mary had a little... <laughs> Yeah, right, well, that cop's gonna make a stink, so let's get out of here now. We're done for today. We're done. We're done. Everybody go home. Everybody go home. <laughs> oh, now I'm just imagining a, a murderer where he sings three blind mice as he takes the eyeballs of his three victims. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I love axe-wielding, murderous ghosts. That was a little messed up. How is everybody gonna do, like, mentally after all of this is done? Surviving will certainly be, uh, that'll be the best. Yeah, we're, we're done for today. Okay. The cops are all crazy down there, and we've done all we can, so... Yeah, we're done for now. ay 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 I don't like that. Eek. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, mind you! Oh, my... Oh, the whole thing. Thanks. The entire mind you. Now I'm just imagining if every single spirit we have to fight haunts us at our apartment, and we go inside and see uh, this current one just 
rummaging through our fridge. What? Sounds amazing. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Blech. It's all terrible. Why's it gotta be like, you know, beach bikini shit? Why can't they do like fencing? That's sexy and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> or kendo or something like that. Yeah, I mean, what if the Love Live girls did fucking kendo instead of whatever they do? Oh, I mean, they did dress up like Richard Simmons at one point. No, sorry, what? Gene Simmons. Sorry, uh, Gene Simmons. Uh, Other one. <laughs> that would be a bad me mistake to make. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God, girls, it's love. Hella, it's snow hellation time. What a slip. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm being watched. D uh. Can I have my head back? We're getting haunted by another ghost now. Excuse me? Want to explore the untapped world? I am D Man. Don't be afraid. We start. We start with finding Uparts, the Bible we explore is all love. Then business can get underway. I sincerely hope I can call you a new comrade. The D Man. The D Man. So he wants us to find oop arts. Oop arts. You know the occult magazine. So do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Email, text from email. Make sure up sometimes use the hints in them to examine your surroundings. They are contextual. Uh, basically, when you get a text from the D man, that means that that is the one time you have to get his D card. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be going for a D man's D card. You understand? So, Go to the convenience store and, uh, hey, excuse me, Mr. Cashier person, do you, uh, nope, nobody's here, all right. Well, okay, I have eyes and legs and hands, I can just look for myself, uh, ah, here we go. Oop Arts, bonus Nostra Rabbit Tail Charm, recommended by Editor M. Oh, I'm not sure. okay. Hey, wait a minute, those are the spirits we already oh. exercised in the other game. Important notice, thank you for your continued support of this magazine. Uh, it's been brought to our attention that customers have found cards inserted in every issue. Please note our company has not been including any cards either as bonuses or extras. These cards are in no way affiliated with our magazine. We guess for your understanding incorporation in this matter. Huh. That's... that's odd. Sure enough, there is a card here in, in between the pages. Oh, sweet. I love Magic the Gathering. This is our first D card. Congratulations on your first D card. To help you believe me, here's a little about myself. How much do you know about the urban legend of D Man? Urban has it in a cult magazine called Monthly Oop Arts. Sometimes it includes a small item for inexplicable reasons. Except those cards contain info on several spirits. This information comes from D Man. That's right, it's yours truly. What's the purpose of these cards? Extra extraordinary men like yourself may have already realized. The seekers of the untapped world. The cards help me offer my knowledge and recruit those with potential to join me. This is by no means mandatory. This is just fluff compared to the fate you're facing now. So. There is, so, uh, it's been five years since Deathmark, right? Mm-hmm. What D-Man is doing here is occasionally giving you a D-card. I think there's, like, ten of them in the game. It's kind of basically filling in some gaps. Oh, okay, cool. So like between the store. F between game to game, or filling in the blanks on where he went after Deathmark. Between game to game, because this guy is dead. Who we're getting these texts from? Oh shit! Great, you're a natural. You have no problems with the next one. Search the red monster that devours paper. So the next card is where the monster that devours paper is. Any idea what that is? Uh, paper shredder. Hmm. This mailbox. Oh my god. 
I, you know, the way I've been watching this, the right side of the screen is kind of cut off, so I didn't even notice the mailbox the, like, two other times we were here. A case revolving around the rumors of the Mark from a few years ago in Tokyo's H-City said the Mark is a curse. Those with the dog like, but dog bite like bruise face a suspicious death or go missing. By the time I visited H-City after the case, the rumor was also, yeah. The Mark's curse has been like after his encountering a spirit associated with H-City legends. There have been several haunted places that have piqued my interest by the details, another memoir, death mark, quoted them all. Uh, yeah, yeah, suicide woods, abandoned school, etc. Ended up in a large mansion. Uh, so that's when I met Kay, when I consider a good friend. Our similar backgrounds caused us to hit it off. I heard all about the case and his conclusion from him. Mr. Kay highly regards my spirit information network, and I promise to research two names for him, Lisa and Leonard. So, yeah, that's two D cards in the bag. Two per chapter or something else? Irregularly per chapter. Okay. Sometimes they'll show up right right after one another. Sometimes it'll be one and then you gotta wait a long time for the next one. But we're gonna get them all. Uh, oh, what? What do you want, D-Man? I got your fucking car- Oh, how about no Mac? What? <laughs> oh, Bond oh, called hey. him. Oh, great. It's right now, but it's it's late. The episode's over. Oh, come on. Ugh. It's 9.30. I need to get to bed. <laughs> come on, man. Let me feel the wind through my hair. Why don't you just get some Yakuza dudes there? I'm... Uh, oh, well. Uh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright, hold on, dude. Need to take my pajamas off and, you know, put some shoes on. Uh, might as well, right? Now, what's this? Tonkatsu drink. Of finding extravagant drinks? Do you know what tonkatsu is? No. It's like pork. Fried tempura pork. <laughs> A pork drink. That's disgusting! <laughs> You know, there has to be a market for all these weird drinks, otherwise why would they keep making them? For the novelty, I bet. Maybe they make a disgusting drink and they tack on something like, It makes you lose weight! It makes you sexier! Oh, it gives you pretty eyes! Sounds like a Spongebob sales pitch. Feel the fat... <laughs> Just feel the <laughs> fat-burning power of... Green bean casserole soda. Oh, God. It'll stop your face from getting any uglier. Just, Just in time. time. And then he grasps onto my... <laughs> <laughs> You're nodding off, dude. <laughs> What kind of asshole calls a bunch of high school students at 2 a.m.? Moon. Moon. Yeah, because there's no movement going on, I just think that he's just stalling his engine right now. I go vroom vroom, Amanome. End double. End double. Zoom 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 zoom! zoom. Gotta put it into gear, man. Get, get out of neutral. Zoom 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 zoom. zoom, 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 zoom. End double. Come on, dude. <laughs> your, your motorcycle's making the noise. You don't have to make the noise. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, we're about to hit a tree! <laughs> I'll just walk. We're gonna hit the 17th gear soon! <laughs> N-Double actually doesn't know how many gears his bike has, so he just keeps adding on to him. 
It's a sacred mystical bike that has 27 <laughs> gears on it. If Hold you... on, I'm, I'm about to put on the the uh, the special wing attachment. Let's go! If you can unlock the power of all 27 gears, then you can achieve the hidden 28th gear, light speed! And then you can go one step beyond! Moon. 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 Moon? Maybe it becomes a sun tower during the day. Oh, that'd be cool. And it's on the opposite side. Alright, Bond. I'm really tired. Will you just tell us what we gotta do now? Hello. Everybody's looking into me. Well, aren't you, uh, perceptive? I was wondering when we were gonna get to the part where we just have an info dump. Yeah, if you're here for more scary things, um, you can go home now. We'll see you tomorrow. But you might miss a thing at the end, but anyway. So this is Bond basically inserting himself into the game for us. Okay. We wouldn't spend so much time info dumping if he wouldn't later become a party member later, right? Oh! I mean, if we spend this much time with somebody, we gotta end up working with them at some point, right? Right. Right. You know, he knows about spirits. He's got us by the balls! Maybe this is the elusive Mr. D. Nah, it starts with B. It's Bon. I'm the B man. It was originally supposed to be Mr. Bad, but... You know... So we had Banshee in the first game, Bon in the second. What do you think the third one's gonna be? Bantonio Banderas? Butt plug. D what? <laughs> okay. Butter. Just to give different B words. Oh, I know! Bazinga! Uh. Sheldon is a spirit. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, the show is now, so. It's like I, I lay down at night to close my eyes, and then I'm awoken by a terrifying sound that haunted me to my core. End double! End double! End double! End double! End double! God, that show sucks. I hate that show so bad. I can't watch more than two episodes. <laughs> like, once the third episode starts, once the third episode begins, I'm like, all right, nope, nope, I can't, I can't, you're const I gotta. You're constantly haunted by a laugh track button. <laughs> <laughs> the world's first sitcom horror. No! Hey, dude. Yeah. Dude? Yeah. Dude? Huh? Moon. Oh, you're right. Moon. M moon. So we feed him info about the spirits to help him with his, uh, journalism. And then he doesn't, uh, write shitty tabloid articles about us. Sounds fair, right? Seems like a fair trade. That last spirit, I'm gonna get of a 7 out of 10. Too much water. They're pandering to young single mothers. It's, it's really pathetic. Oh, can you imagine if those tabloids were basically just like... 
like Tinder profiles in text form. Ninety nine. Just like them doesn't actually have to be them. I was making a comparison. So you got to use ninety nine references, like fucking uh, adult friend finder. I don't know. <laughs> Find a friend next to the moon. Friendster profiles. MySpace. Life journal. Coolmathgames.com. <laughs> Actually, then back in '99, the only sites I really went on were Pokemon websites or CartoonNetwork.com. Yep. Or, mom, or uh, one called MamaMedia.com. It's a whole bunch of games for kids. DisneyChannelGames.com for me. Shockwave Flash, motherfuckers! No, wait! Macromedia Shockwave! Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, you just bringing back old memories. Oh, yeah! You gotta sit there and wait for the little bar to load for like ten <laughs> minutes before you end up doing your little, you know, two-minute game you're playing. Anyway, now we're finally home. For real this time. Yeah, for real. Let's go to bed. Just clear our minds so we can go back to Kentucky tomorrow. See, Spirit Fox been updated. So what do we got here? Tyro and Jiro, we're the Cedars, Divine Protection from Lightning, Copper Looking Something, Hang Headless Dog. Uh, head to the Great Kentucky on the 15th night. Yeah, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, I'm tired. Let's take, a, let's take a shower. Good stuff always happens in the shower, right? Wait for it, and... Dog head. Nope. Just normal shower. Ah, I feel great. Yes. This is the visual novel, and this is our first shower scene? What the fuck? Now I'm gonna drink something. <laughs> hmm. Oh, me to too. To drink. How about this lovely water? A seasoning bottle. Oh, th this is a fridge. Oh, okay. God, what a small fridge. Ooh, a bottle of tea. Oh, you got some weird manju, but... Eh, I'll put them in the fridge, I guess. I would love it if that was the trigger for the haunting. Just eating manju in general. Ooh! <laughs> uh, some tea, uh, let's... Read a book, maybe? So there is, like, extra stuff you can do. It's not just go home, go to sleep. Secret and discriminative combat techniques. And so he read the book. What was the best way to strip something to cows? Hit them really hard in the, in the throat. Eh? Mm -hmm. No. Huh? Eh? No, get out of here with that. Open the curtain. No! Open the Come curtain! On. Oh, okay, it's oh. nothing. Alright, okay. Hmm. You know, I should go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's just... Let's, uh, let's go to sleep, yeah? I like that oh, idea. That's That's fantastic. Yep. Good night. There wasn't even anything there, and it put me on edge. Okay. What? No, thank you. No, th no, don't open the curtain. It's only bad things. The curtain lid. Ah! No! Oh. Why are the, Ur the Urashima woman's handprints? Uh, well, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Anyway, good night forever. I'm just, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's about it all begins. we have. It's about all we have for this episode of NG. Uh, sorry for the info dump, but hey, you gotta set up a foundation for things to come. But now, next time. We're gonna head forward further into Kentucky and dig deeper into this mystery surrounding Kubitaro. Ugh. 
and hopefully no more dogs have to die. Such dirty hands. Gross. See you next time. <laughs>